The Asbury Park Boys Club was there for Philip Shine when he needed them most. Just 13 when his father, a firefighter, perished in the line of duty. The New Jersey Club was a place of solace for Philip, keeping him occupied with activities such as glee club, photography, and woodworking. When the talented young man wanted to develop his piano skills, club director Alex Grappi recommended him for an Epstein Foundation grant, which provided scholarships to club members with exceptional talents in the arts. Philip not only won the scholarship, but saw it extended the next year. He was also active in the Boy Scouts, earning its top honor Eagle Scout. In high school, Philip maintained his active schedule, including running track, starring in numerous plays, and blowing trombone in the Bebop Five, a local band that played parties around town. After graduating, Philip studied at Rutgers University, then obtained his medical degree from Upstate Medical University of New York. He later continued his education at Harvard University, Oxford University, and the National Cancer Institute. Dr. Shine went on to be one of the world's leading authorities in the treatment of cancer, as well as a professor of medicine and pharmacology at the University of Pennsylvania, Brown University, and Oxford University. He has been awarded 11 patents and published more than 350 articles and texts concerning cancer research and drug development. He is also president of the Shine Group, which provides consultative services to the pharmaceutical industry. Of his many accomplishments, Dr. Shine is most proud of the many physicians and researchers he has mentored and trained, who now hold leadership positions in major medical centers contributing to the treatment of cancer. So that more young people might achieve great futures like his own, Dr. Shine serves on the board of directors for the Boys and Girls Clubs of Martin County in Florida. Please welcome Dr. Philip S. Shine. Thank you, Courtney, and the Selection Committee for considering me for this honor. But I'm especially grateful for the individual who selected May 10th for staging this event. This happens to be my birthday. <laughs> and I can think of no better way of celebrating it than be here with you tonight. Uh, you'll notice, though, that most of the pictures you saw describing me are in black and white. It's rather, it's rather telling about my age. <clears throat> But as you heard, I grew up in a fairly tough part of uh, the city in Asbury Park, New Jersey. Uh, my father, who had no high school education, uh, was a fireman, died fighting a fire when I was 13. Uh, my mother made an executive decision somewhere along that route, perhaps when I was nine, and sent me over to the local boys club, probably to toughen me up, uh, learn how to box. But I went through the doors, I discovered a whole range of other activities that looked a lot more attractive. But from, a, from an early age, I was interested in music, and at the time, I was sort of an inspiring, aspiring uh, pianist. And the club had a drum and bugle corps. It, within a short period of time, I was a very competent bugle player. And that created a lot of unanticipated opportunities. For example, I was often invited to funerals Yes, where I'd be asked to play taps, and often with a good deal of feeling and vibrato, though never knowing the departed. But there were many other club-related activities which helped me begin to understand my potential at a time when I was pretty insecure about my capabilities. For example, one of the pictures that was shown at age 13, I was one of five selected to represent the club, taken into New York City, to participate on a nationally televised quiz show, Strike It Rich. Some of you may be old enough to remember it. Despite our nerves, collectively, we were able to answer all the questions related to the Civil War and the French Revolution, and we took home the top money prize, money that was used to help build a new clubhouse in our community. But perhaps the most important event, perhaps the most important event in my life was when I was 11. The club director, Alex Scroppy, knew each of us very well 
including our interests. And one day he called me into his office and told me, actually informed me, uh, that I was going to compete for a national scholarship for my musical studies. Of course, I was shocked and not really uh, prepared for this type of adventure. I was taken over to the local radio station where I cut a recording of some Mozart sonatas. The record was sent off to the Epstein Foundation in Chicago, and about two months later, I get a letter in the mail saying I'd won, and I was receiving a sum of money so I can continue my piano lessons. Of course, I was overjoyed. The next morning, I'm sitting with my parents at breakfast, and the local newspaper, the Asbury Park Press, shows up, and there is my picture on the front page with that caption, 11-year-old pianist wins national scholarship with the word, ill-advised word, prodigy, <laughs> sprinkled throughout the article. And I remember sitting there, dumbfounded, thinking, what the heck has just happened? <clears throat> Up to that point, I was flying well under the radar, and now I recognized <laughs> that there were new expectations for me. And from that day going forward, I set the bar a little higher in everything that I attempted to do. Now, as you've heard, I've had a very fulfilling career in cancer research and patient care. And a couple of years ago, I entered into a new adventure, now as a vice chairman of the Center for the Advancement of Science and Space, the organization that manages the US National Laboratory on the International Space Station. And I can assure you that's a fair distance That's a fair distance to travel from First Avenue in Asbury Park. The other association of which I'm very proud is my membership on the board of the Boys and Girls Club of Martin County, Florida. This is an organization like so many throughout the national program that's doing extraordinary things for the youth in its region. So let me come back to why I'm here and perhaps why we are here. Some years ago, there was a young kid living in a tough neighborhood who lost his father at an early age. He was, had a very uncertain future and could have easily drifted off the grid. But for the mentoring he received and the opportunities he was provided at his local boys club, this organization does extraordinary things and we should remain passionate in our support of its programs. Thank you very much for this honor. I appreciate it very much.